Hello viewers. In this lecture today, we are discussing about precautionary principle under the environment law. So we'll discuss the meaning of precautionary principle, the origin of this principle, and certain other facts which are associated with the precautionary principle. So coming to the introduction first, so when we talk about the protection of the environment, so the protection of environment, it was not given due consideration when we talk about the pre-independence era in India. Reason was political disturbance at that time. Now after India got independence, now the concern of the, the newly appointed government that was to establish industries, to set up the market, and to create the new jobs opportunity for the citizens and to provide the employment as well. So during this period, the industrialization that happens in India and uh, you know, still after this um, industrialization was going on, the environment related uh, or the protection of the environment that was not much emphasized by the government. But when the Bhopal gas tragedy that happens in 1984, which causes uh, about 1500 deaths of the citizens and around six lakhs of the people, they were affected by this tragedy. And after this, the environment protection that comes, that became a priority for, for the government as well. And after this incident, the area of environment law it, it widens in country, in our country, and the judicial activism that also increases after the Bhopal gas tragedy case. Now talking about the judiciary, now it is always a great contributor in terms of realization of environmental rights of the citizens in India. Talking about where we talk about the fundamental rights of the citizens in India, we will find that the environmental rights of the citizens, they are not explicitly mentioned in the constitution of India, but the courts in India, particularly the higher judiciary, that is the Supreme Court and the high courts in the country, they have interpreted the environmental rights of the citizens under article 21 of the constitution. Now coming to the precautionary principle. Now this principle, it, it, is, it finds its place in Rio Declaration, particularly principle 15 of the Rio Declaration. It provides for this principle and it states that the precautionary approach that shall be widely adopted and applied by the states. And basically it means that if there is certain activities which is causing serious threat or serious damages. Now, in case of the lack of full scientific certainty, such activities that must be postponed and uh, you know, it, it should not be or the scientific reason that must not be awaited in such cases. So immediate postponement of such activities that is necessary. If we exemplify this in, in very simple terms, now you can see that uh, in this example, that if we take an example that a large groundwater now, which many people they are using for drinking purpose. Now, if such water is contaminated by certain bacteria and the source of contamination Suppose it is believed that it is due to dairy cows, but the exact science is not yet able to provide absolute proof for that. So the cows, they should be removed immediately, uh, keeping in view the environment degradation and the contamination of water. And it should not be awaited that the full scientific reasons, they are not there or they are still awaited. So immediately, 
precautionary measures they needs to be taken and that activities that must be removed then talking about some some case laws important case laws on this point now the first case is vijayanagar education trust versus karnataka now in this case the karnataka high court it accepted that the precautionary principle is now the part and parcel of the constitution of india regarding the protection and the improvement of the environment related rights under the constitution of india now this principle the court held that it implies that there is a social responsibility to protect the public from exposure to certain harm when scientific investigations has found that there is a possible risk of certain activity or due to certain activities the environment degradation can be there and which may ultimately affect the public at large so in that case such activities that must be postponed or removed however it also says that uh, in those cases where the scientific findings now that finds that such activities shall not cause certain harm in future so though in those cases that activities that can be carried carried on now talking about the burden of proof in cases of uh, precautionary principle the burden of proof that shall always lie on the developer or the industrialist uh, who is sought to cause such damages to the environment now one or uh, other case which is there on this point is valor citizens welfare forum versus union of india in this case the supreme court observed that the new concepts of burden of proof that uh, we just talk about that the person who is the developer or who is the industrialist on whom the burden of proof shall lie in case of precautionary principle now the supreme court that held in this case that this principle of burden of proof it is also uh, becomes a very important aspect of law in india so that is it about the about this principle thank you Thank you.